Checking things out here tonight. Uh, welcome. Just to let you know, I've got the camera, my cell phone flipped around, so I don't have it on the reverse facing camera because I'm going to be writing on the board. And I know when I write on the reverse facing camera, it all looks backwards. And I don't want it to be backwards tonight because I'm going to write stuff I want you to be able to read. So we're just checking it out, just technical, making sure it's right. Looks like the tablet is good. Looks like the Clipper Guy banner is spelled right in the background. I'm getting on my laptop here. I'm going to jump on the Jatai page so that I can read and hear and understand your comments. And um, we will be a bunch of professionals and we will get this going in just a second. It looks good. I think we're good. We're good. All right. Almost. Here we go. You'll get my official welcome in just one second, and then we will get started. All right. Here we go. Jatai International Feather Baby. Here we are. And, oh, look at that. That's a live video in the spotlight. Uh, what's going on right now? That's me. I know it's me. Yeah, I can see it's me. Okay, hang on. I just want to make sure I got it up here. Uh, live about a minute ago. Yeah, here we are. Is this me live? Okay, looks like we all got all the moving parts in place and they're sliding and connecting and doing beautifully. I got to mute the volume on my laptop because we can hear okay. me talking looks to like me. We all got all the moving parts. What a bunch of technical amateurs. Okay, good evening and welcome to Jatai International, uh, Jatai Academy here on Facebook, on the web. It is Tuesday night. It is. November 27th, 2018. Welcome to our live program. Once again, Jatai Academy here on Facebook has been featuring me and a variety of other folks bringing you a ton of great information. And uh, I have what I think is going to be a really cool and really interesting program. I actually have an agenda written out on paper. I'm known for that in some of my other programming. Can you? Thank you. Okay. Uh, and we're ready to get started. Um... Originally, for this broadcast, because we're wrapping up the end of November, we're ending up No Shave November, we're ending up Movember, uh, that exciting month with all that men's facial hair stuff, and truth be told, you know what, I tried to get a model, we were going to take some guy who grew his beard for the whole month and groom him up and shape him up and everything, and... Uh, for lack of a better way to put it, I think most of America decided this year that they just didn't care about No Shave November, about Movember, um, hunting beards, uh, deer beards, you know, whatever you call them in different parts of the world. Um, part of the phenomenon is I think a lot of guys have facial hair, so growing facial hair for November is like a big, well, uh, what do you mean? I had it all 11 months, why do I need it now? So in honor of the program today, I didn't shave this morning, so I've got... 18 hours of beard just to keep that theme consistent and going. And you know, being the world's number one manufacturer of premier razor blades, shaving handles, and all things awesome for shaving, I think it only made sense that we would have a No Shave November, a Movember wrap-up program to share with you guys. But, alas, we don't. But I think I've got something that is going to be more powerful and more impactful. So let's acknowledge No Shave November. Let's thank everybody who grew a beard. Let's thank everybody who donated a nickel, a dime, and a dollar or something to a men's health-related charity. Let's congratulate everybody in a barbershop or hair salon anywhere in America who had a men's health conversation with a male client, whether it is some forms of cancer, whether it's men's psychological health, um, all of those kind of things. Um, there's some great people out there doing some great things with suicide prevention for men. And uh, my friend Tom Chapman from the UK has got a great program with that, with the Lions Collective. Um, look him up and look that up online uh, and learn a little bit about all of that. So men's health, still important, still a big thing. Deer hunting is still going on in the part of the world where I live in the Midwest. Um, I went out hiking last week with my son and we're told that certain areas of of the state preserve were off limits to hiking because they were hunting and if you had an orange jacket and a hat with antlers on it uh, you might be okay but you might be in trouble uh, but nonetheless the program today is going to focus on our final thoughts and our wrap-up 
to end 2018 behind the chair and in the shop as strong as you possibly can, and some thoughts to head into 2019. Can you believe it's 2019 already? There's like a year left in this decade. I remember when it was 2011 and we started this decade. I remember 2001 when we started the last decade. Heck, I remember 91, but we're not going to go there. Um, this decade went by quick. It's been an exciting time in the hair business. It's been an exciting time for Jatai Feather. By the way, as we do head into the holidays, go to the website, jatai.net on the web. Do some holiday shopping, holiday specials. There are some specials on um, uh, blades. There's some specials on shaving handles. There's some specials on the insulated finger grippy thingies, which are perfect for flat iron folks and thermal curling irons or other thermal tools. Um, so there are some great holiday specials that are up there now. Please go to jatai.net on the web. Shop the holiday specials. While you're there, of course, sign up for Jatai Academy because that's what we do. We bring you an incredible amount of great education and information in your email box on a regular basis, nearly daily. So let's talk it up. I've got three segments or sections on my agenda for today. And for those of you, and I got to stop and drink along the way here. For those of you who have, who've participated in some of my other live broadcasts on my own channels and things like that, you know that now I begin educational programming and presentations with something from $100,000 Hair Cutter. Uh, my book was introduced this year in 2018. We're wrapping up the first full year of sales. Um, one idea a day, every single day for 365 days. A daily devotional to success in the business. So I start these broadcasts now by looking at today in the book. So let's take a look at today and get ourselves on the theme and on the subject of building and growing our business with today's thought and idea. Now, one idea a day, every single day. Today is November 27th. And it says here, November 27th, day 331 of the year with just 34 days remaining in the year. Almost a little more than a month. Really a little more than a month. Um, day 331, November 27th, leverage a local celebrity. Now, I don't read these ahead of time. I don't prep for the show by looking ahead. I kind of make these a surprise for me and you so they're relevant and exciting and important and everything. Um, I'm going to read you a little bit here. If you have the book, read along with me. If you don't have the book, you need to get a copy of the book. But leverage a local celebrity. Every town has a few local celebrities. Can you leverage them for your business? It might be the mayor. It might be a local market newscaster on TV. It might be the big advertising local car dealer. Can you embrace these high-profile heads with high-visibility haircuts as spokespeople for your business? It might take a few free haircuts to get them to do it. It might be worth much more than those few free haircuts you have to give them. Can they tout you on social media? Can you use their likeness in a video montage of still images? You will not know unless you ask. And here's the important kicker that finishes off this idea. The smaller your market or town the easier it is to leverage these powerful referral magnets. Now, it's important that I mention that because occasionally when I share ideas from the book, I have people telling me, Ivan, you don't understand. I'm not from the big city. Ivan, you don't understand how it is in my little cow town. And the answer is everything has advantages and everything has disadvantages. When I say I'm from a big city, keep in mind a big city's got three barbershops in every block. And you're complaining that your town's too small. In a small town with this idea of leveraging a local celebrity, the largest car dealer in the greater Chicago metropolitan area where I live is a guy named Bob Rohrman. I don't know how many 20, 30 dealerships he owns in Chicago. If I wanted to cut his hair that maybe he'd send me a few clients, I probably can't even talk to the guy. I probably can't find him at a car dealer. I couldn't hunt him down and find him and make a deal with him and negotiate with him. I don't know if he's still alive even. Half the time I see him on car commercials, he's a cartoon character. So I don't even know if I could get this guy. But if you live in some little town, one stoplight town in nowhere America, the guy that owns your local Ford or Chevy dealer, you know him. 
Your daddy knows him. He eats at the diner on Main Street and you see him there twice a week. He buys groceries at the grocery store that your sister-in-law's husband owns. That's just the way small town America is. If you live in small towns, accessing these local celebrities is that much easier. So there's ways to do things in big cities. There's ways to do things in small towns. Anyone anywhere in America can leverage these concepts. So that's the $100,000 haircutter idea for today. It's leveraging local celebrities as spokespeople for your businesses. By the way, the book is on special. I'm going to run the special probably through Christmas. Regular price, $25. Go to clipperguy.com, ivanzoot.com, either one, same place, half price. The book is $25 every day, $12.50 now through Christmas. Go online, get yourself a copy of the book. All right, so you've come to rely on Jatai Academy and you've come to rely on me for powerful information you can use to improve your business every single day. Let's talk about wrapping up the year with strength and enthusiasm and big success. The $100,000 haircutter program breaks down to $8,333 per month. That means if you're on track for $100,000 haircutter, you're doing $8,333 a month every month. That means for December, you got a big number to hit. You've got $8,333. Time out, footnote, keep in mind, that number is your net. That means if you're a 50% commission stylist, you got to do double that number. That means if you're a booth renter, you got to do that much money plus your taxes plus your rent and expenses. So that's just a net number. That's to net an income of $100,000. We all know if you want to take home $100,000, you have to earn more than that. But to keep things level and understood... 8333 is your monthly number, and here's your weekly number. $2083 in net after you've paid your booth rent or after you've half commission. If you if that's half your number, you're looking for 4,166 is double that number. Um if you're a 50% commission stylist. So know that that's what you need to do to make that happen. Those may feel, let me just write per week. Those may feel like big numbers, and they are big numbers, but they are credible numbers and they're doable numbers. You know, somebody asked me on social media the other day, are we getting some questions? So yes, small town, I just started with the captain at the sheriff's office, growing clientele. Is that, uh, is it Tasha? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't, I, 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 I can't even pronounce my own name. No, Tasha, you are absolutely right. The sheriff, hey, hey, look. You're going to be driving too fast through town, blowing off that one stoplight in the middle of town. You better know the sheriff. Not a bad plan. I like it a lot. Okay. Instagram celebs. Yeah, there are some. Gittle definitely agree there. Hey, Zane, buddy. Good to see you here. My hair's hot today. Thank you very much. I'm working on growing my hair. Miguel, nice to see you, buddy. Good to see some folks and friends tuning in here. Uh, Jahil, uh, nice to see you. Vanessa. Vanessa's here. Of course Vanessa's here. She's always here. All right, anyways, back to what we were talking about. What were we talking about? Uh, we're talking about hitting big numbers, and these numbers are doable. Somebody asked me on social media the other day, when I, you know, my book is called $100,000 Haircutter. They said, hey, Ivan, is $100,000 the goal? And the answer is not necessarily. If you earn $24,000 last year, or you're on track to earn $24,000 this year, no, 100000 is not the goal. Let's not get unrealistic. If you earn 24000 in 2018, your 2019 goal is 48. Double your money. If you earn 48, let's talk about 100. Yeah, that's a credible number. But one of the important things in goal setting is that goals need to be what they call SMART. S-M-A-R-T. And SMART goals need to be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. S-M-A-R-T. If you haven't heard the SMART goal concept in the past, I want to invite you to go online. Go to Google and type in SMART goals. You'll find tons of articles. There's tons of books on SMART goal setting. And perhaps that's even a great subject uh, for another one of these programs sometime. Um, what is a SMART goal? I know I did a program on that 
uh, on my uh, team page on Facebook once on setting smart goals. We explained that whole system, so uh, perhaps that's something for a good conversation. Talking like this drives me out. I'm sorry. I got to keep drinking. Um, so 100 is not necessarily the big goal, but the goal is more than what we had last year. These are the numbers that reflect 100. So the question really then becomes, okay, Ivan, if netting 2,083 a week or netting 8,033 for a month is what we're shooting for, how in the world are we supposed to get there? And the answer is, I've got my top five tips. Everybody that knows me knows I love top five tips. Keeps it simple. Gives you something to focus in and hone in on. And I want to give you five. And I want to tell you, one, two, three, four, five. Thank you. You're welcome. The phone is facing the proper direction so that you can read these this week. I want to give you these top five tips. And I believe that if you focus your efforts on these five things in the month of December, you can finish with the best month you've had all year. You know, we get the bonus bump and the benefit of December being a very, very strong month in barbershops and hair salons. Hey, how about a shout out? Anybody here do anything in your shop? For Small Business Saturday, you know, we had Black Friday. Yesterday was Cyber Monday. In between there was Small Business Saturday. And I've said publicly, I don't think there's a better holiday that has been more custom created for you and me and the beauty and barber industry than Small Business Saturday. Small bit, We are small businesses. Even in the case of some of the franchises out there, they're locally owned by someone as a small business. One family that owns three Zippy Cuts, he's a small business in your town, even if he's a major international franchise chain. So I think getting a haircut on Small Business Saturday is something everyone should do to support a local haircutter. So tell me, anybody comment or chime in if you had some success with Small Business Saturday. But you know what today is? Does anybody know what is today? I'm not going to tell you yet. Somebody's going to be Googling it around while I'm talking. Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday. We have Catch Your Breath Sunday. That's not really a thing, but in between all this hecticness. And then Tuesday. What is Tuesday? Who knows what Tuesday is? I got a gift for somebody if they chime in with Tuesday. Ray Rita is here. My wife's waving her hand like she knows, and I'm looking for a comment. Somebody tell me, what is Tuesday after Cyber Monday? Drum roll. Where are you guys? There's a delay. Nobody's got Google? There must be a delay. The silence is killing me. I'll drink for a moment. There's a delay. All right. I'm going to give you your five. Somebody will chime in with it. I got a free gift for the person that comes up with it first. But according to the delay, it's already there. I just can't see it yet. All right. Here's how we're going to maximize December. We've got extra traffic. If you live in Florida, I got friends in Florida in our business who like to whine and complain that when the snowbirds are gone, business in Florida is terrible. I believe business in Florida can be good all year long, but no excuse now, the snowbirds are all in Florida. People are coming in for the holidays. They want to look good for holiday parties. Got to get your hair cut if you're going to dinner at grandma's house. We got all these reasons why we're going to be in the shop and why we're getting our hair cut. Are there comments coming through on where you're seeing it? I'm not seeing comments coming through, so either this thing is delayed real slow or jammed up. But um, we're busy. Let's make the most, the portion of this, the five tips here are about how do we make the most of the opportunity that is December traffic to finish the year strong. Number one, add-on sales. What we all know is upselling. This is where we hone in or focus on what we call average ticket. People are coming in. If you're in a barber shop and you're doing $20 haircuts and everybody that walks in, $20 haircut out. $20 haircut out. Your average ticket is $20 haircut. Zero upselling. You're getting the same amount of money from everybody. You're not getting French toast day. Lydia, 
No, it's not French Toast Day, but I love that you tried. Oh my God, that's hysterical. Where did you even get that? Okay, it, it might be like National French Toast Day. Actually, my wife made French toast yesterday for lunch. That's so funny. Travel Day. No, it's not Travel Day. I don't believe you guys don't know this. Oh my God. All right, add on sales. Try to sell somebody something else. If a guy comes in for a haircut, hey, sell him a beard trim. Tie it in. November, he grew that beard. Let's get rid of that thing. Either shape it up or ship it out. Throw in a shave. Ding, ding, ding. Feather, razors, jatai, shave. What about the healthy luxury shave set? Uh, that's another item on here. Oh, look at that. Number two, take home. Suggest and recommend professional take-home hair care product. These both fit in that upsell category. These are both about driving average ticket, asking everybody who sits in your chair to give somebody Google it for me so we can find out what today is for Tuesday. Even if you don't know, just don't tell us you Googled it. Um, Add-on sales. Take-home sales, driving average ticket. It's about taking and making the most of the opportunity that is December business. Make it a goal for yourself. Look at your haircut price. And this is kind of for my barber folk out there. Look at your haircut price. And again, let's say your haircut's $20. Tell yourself, I want to hit an average ticket for the month of December of $24. That means, for instance, if a bottle of gel is $8, Every other guy's got to buy gel. When we divide that eight out amongst two people, it's $4 additional ticket, but something to drive your average ticket up to squeeze the greatest amount of money out of this heavy traffic December that you possibly can. Next on the list, number three, asking for referrals. Every client, every time. Two business cards. You guys know I talk about this all the time. Thank you for the opportunity to cut your hair. I appreciate your business. If I gave you two cards, would you send me two friends? Those are my big three sentences that you know. But when we've got the bump in traffic, travel day, okay, I'm just waiting. When we got the bump in traffic that is December, let's use that bump in traffic to leverage more referrals. Ask every single customer in the month of December, if I gave you two cards, would you send me two friends? And hand them two business cards. Make sure today, go online when this Jatai program is finished, go online and order a box of extra business cards so you have them. They only take two, three days. You'll have them by Tuesday. That'll be December, December 4, really the beginning of the month. The first is Saturday. You'll be busy in the shop that day. You've got a few cards to get you through Saturday. Bing, 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 Ray Rita, my man. Finally, somebody comes in, Giving Tuesday, that's right. With all of this gimme, with all this me, 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 with all this bye, 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 with all this I deserve a deal that we've been buried in for Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, and Cyber Monday, Giving Tuesday, that's what it's called. Giving Tuesday is all about charitable donation, charitable contribution, and giving to others. It's kind of that little salve we need, that band-aid we need to kind of get us back to healthy after all that me, 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 gimme greedy stuff that made up those. And hey, let's face it, you weren't really buying anything for you. Nobody bought anything for themselves on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. It was all gifts for others. I understand. I know how it was. But yeah, Giving Tuesday is what the name of this holiday is. And it's about giving to others based on the wealth and, and all the blessings and all of what we have and we enjoy and, and the gifts we have that we can give to some others. So that's what Giving Tuesday is all about. So in the spirit of giving, let's take more money from our customers so that we can give other people a Merry Christmas. Add on sales, take home products, asking for referrals. That's three of the top five. Are you ready for four? Number four on the list. Rebooking. 
And again, Mr. Broken Record here. We have the traffic during the month of December. We've got the heads in the shop. Let's make sure we're rebooking them. Let's make sure we're inviting them back. We're telling them when. We're telling them how long till they get back. We're getting them back on the appointment book today before they leave to ensure that we don't have that January slump. Are you going to hit me here? Ah, hit me there with a refill. So many in our business so frequently complain about the January slump when things get quiet after the busy holiday season. Well, there's two ways we prevent the January slump, and that's by leveraging the December traffic. Rebooking and bounce back. Bounce back is some type of deal some type of special, some type of opportunity that encourages the January and February visits when we otherwise might be quiet. What are we going to do to get them back in? So when we've got them in December to finish the year strong, we're going to focus on add-on sales and average ticket. Drier parts of America, here we just had our first snowstorm. The heat is on. Our skin is drying out. Our hair is drying out. Our face is drying out. Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Set. There's a moisturizer in there for your skin, and we've got the Beard Softener. There's two items in that set, ideally suited for this type of conversation with your customers. And I know you have other products and other conditioning treatments and things. What did Tasha say? To a client who had a bad cut. Also, the Sunday notion. Remember, my deputies are also getting me just go for hot shaves. I get it. Even. Awesome. Yeah, Tasha, you love your cops. I love it. You're all over it. Uh, that's great. Taco Tuesday. Miguel, that's coming from a guy in Texas with the name of Miguel. So, yeah, of course, we have Taco T Tuesday in Chicago, too. But uh, that's another good reason to celebrate Tuesdays is Taco Tuesday. Um, now I got derailed. What was I talking about? Anyways, we're leveraging December. Add-on sale, oh, conditioning treatments, that's right. Dry air, winter, the heat in the house and the heat in the car. What a great time for moisturizing conditioners, moisturizing balms for hair, facial treatments that involve moisturizing the skin. I did mention the two Jatai products that are keenly focused on satisfying those needs for customers. We have so many opportunities to have these conversations. Services in the salon and their take-home products. Soliciting referrals to grow off of December. We're setting ourselves up for a successful 19. Rebooking to get these people back after the first of the year. Again, now we're using December to leverage 19. And of course, bounce backs. Bounce backs would be things like a coupon in December to redeemed in January or February. Or a BOGO for December. You know, bring a buddy in for a haircut. You pay for your haircut. Your buddy's haircut is free. I mean, who knows? There's all kinds of things we can do in that regard. Um, sell the shave as a two-pack. Special price on the shave. Get a shave in December. You get a free shave in January. I don't know. There's so many different ways we can do this to tie it in. And by the way, if it's that twofer, buy one in December, get it in January. If they don't redeem it in January... They don't get it. Don't let them wait till March to come in and have it. Set some rules, stick to your rules, and abide by the policies for the promotions and the specials that you run. So these are my top five tips for leveraging the heck out of what will be a very, very strong and very, very successful December. Does anybody want to chime in? Anybody got any ideas, comments, or thoughts on things that you think you will be doing or that you'd like to suggest to others. Part of going live on these programs is really getting and soliciting input and participation from the community because as I say in my live programs and I know you all know I believe, we are smarter than me, right? I only know so much and I don't know what I don't know. And there's a lot of talented people, a lot of smart people, a lot of intelligent people in the business that know a lot more that we can all benefit from. So if anybody's got anything, chime in, throw it up there. We'll be sharing it right off the comments. Next up, let's talk about 19. It's one thing to finish 18 strong. It's something else to go into 19 blazing. So for 2019, there's a couple things I want to talk about. I want to talk about, number one, a promo calendar. You know, there's a funny joke in my...
community. About a mom. Lydia Hobbs, discount for bringing in toys for tots. There's a good way to put some giving on the front of it. I love it. You know I don't believe in discounts. And by the way, I heard about a great discount I want to share with you guys. I'm excited about this. You know I don't believe in discounts. What did Marquis, Marcus say? Free hot towel on all new clients in December. You know what? It's like 22 degrees outside in Chicago and a warm towel on your face, laying back in the chair. Yeah, I, I can feel it thinking about it, talking about it. I, I just want to go do that. Uh, what a great idea. Um, you know I don't like discounts. However, I'm always open to and willing. Wallace, buddy, nice to see you joining our group tonight. Atlanta, Georgia, how's it going down there? Um, you know I don't like discounts. I like the idea of tying something into Toys for Tots, maybe a free service, maybe a free take-home product. Give me a gift, I give you a gift. I'll trade you a toy for a bottle. I like doing that. You can get small sizes of things. You can even be generous and give away full sizes. I just don't like to discount the haircut. It, re it hurts my heart. It hurts my soul. It makes me bleed internally when I hear people undermining the value of the haircut. I think there's so many, many good ways to be promotionally creative and to be business aggressive without discounting the haircut or undermining the price integrity of the haircut. I believe haircuts should either be full price or free. Full price or free. Now, in that vein, I did read about this this week. I saw it and I want to share it because the idea popped into my head and that's just the way my head works. Um, I have said I don't believe in senior discounts. And I sometimes get in trouble when I talk about this and I share information like the fact that 85% of the wealth in America is in the possession of individuals over the age of 65 and why are we giving away senior discounts? Because seniors have had longer to gather the money so they don't need the discounts and yeah, I know there are seniors in America on fixed incomes and times are tough and things are hard and yeah, 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 I get it. But I don't like senior discounts. I just don't like it at all. And I saw this thing the other day where it said... They, and I don't like kid discounts either. That's the other side of the spectrum. I think we do a haircut for a price. It is not easier to do a haircut or quicker to do a haircut in miniature on a hyperactive kid who just ate half a box of Captain Crunch. I just don't think that's a reason for a discount. So I don't like kid discounts. I don't like senior discounts. But I did see somebody put up on the internet their price menu where they had their regular price, whatever their haircut was, and then they had a senior discount which I don't endorse and I don't agree with, and it was like 65 and over. Like, let's say, I don't remember what the numbers were, but haircut was $20, senior 65 and over was $18, and then it said 100 and over free. Regular price was 20, seniors were 18, and if you were 100 years or older, your haircuts were free. And I love that. I thought, when I have a shop again, and I don't currently own a shop, but I will down the road. I'm doing that. If you're 100 years old, I cut you for nothing. How many haircuts are you going to get your, the year you're 100? That year? What, three? Maybe four? How many years are you going to do this, you think? How long are you going to live? You're not going to take that many haircuts away from me. And if you got to be 100, I'll cut you for nothing. You know what? If you're 100 years old, I want to talk to you. I want to listen to you. I want to ask you to tell me stories about what you know and what you've done and who you are and what your life's been all about. No discounts. Ellie, I love Ellie. I don't even know who Ellie is and I love Ellie. No discounts. I agree. Wallace, 100%. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Um, yeah, if you're 100 years old, I'll cut you for nothing. I just want to ask you questions about the good old days and I want you to tell me stories about the crazy stuff you got away with when you were a kid. It's going to be worth cutting your hair. So I love that seniors, 100 and over, free. Try to take advantage of me. I bet you can't. And by the way, at that point, how much hair you got? You know? There are no 100-year-old guys coming in with a thick ponytail down to here. It's usually taper them up quick and it's easy. So I love them and I'm happy to do it. And you can send me all your 100-year-old great-grandfathers. I'll cut them for nothing. I'm happy to do it. All right. Let's get to 2019. Number one, promo calendar. So I started to say, there's a joke in my community and it talks about a woman talking to her mother. The woman is an adult, and mother is really the grandmother, and the woman has a child who's 12 and a half years old, and this happens to be a Jewish family, 
And the woman is having an argument and a fight with her mother about plans for the 12 and a half year olds upcoming bar mitzvah. And they're fighting and they're arguing about the plans for the bar mitzvah and the timing and the details and all this other stuff. And finally, getting tired of the conversation and not wanting to have the conversation anymore, the grandmother turns to the mother and says, look, we're not going to argue about this anymore. You had plenty of time to plan for it. You've known about this bar mitzvah for 13 years. That's the punchline. The point is, it's not a surprise. You know that it's going to happen. Well, your promo calendar, you know that in 2019, we're going to have a Father's Day. I promise you, it's in June. You know that in May, there's going to be a bunch of graduations. You know that in August-ish, it's back to school time. I got a pretty good idea that we're going to have Easter sometime in, oh, I don't know, April. And I'm pretty sure next year, Christmas, going to be in December. And before we have Christmas next year, in November, what do you think? Thanksgiving? Yeah, there's a good chance of that. These things are not a surprise. And my point is, do not treat these business opportunities. Next year, Thursday, Thanksgiving, two days later, Saturday is going to be Small Business Saturday again. If Small Business Saturday snuck up on you in 2018 and you hadn't prepared and you didn't plan and you weren't ready and you didn't have a promotion, do not have that excuse in 2019. Let's plan ahead. 20% off for police, fire, and military. I like the idea of finding ways to reward our first responders. I don't like to do it in the form of a discount. I just don't think it makes good sense. And in our shop, you know what? I think as many as a third of our customers are police, fire, municipal workers, postal workers. We got half the government in our shop most of the time. On any good day, half the guys in our shop are armed because they got a badge and they got a gun. So I don't necessarily know that I want to go that hard on the police and fire traffic. Jared, welcome. What's the best for veterans, those in service? Uh, Lydia, again, I don't like discounts. I like added value. Maybe, um, you know, cop cuts, they get a free bottle of hair gel, or they get a free bottle of shampoo, or um, shave service, or... Uh, there's lots of things. Maybe a punch card. I love punch cards. Buy 10 haircuts, get one free. Please understand, buy 10, get one free is not a discount. Yes, it is 10% off, bottom line, net, net, net. But all 10 haircuts are regular price, and one haircut is free. That is not the same as a 10% discount. So I love, I did one once, I did a cop cut punch card where it literally said, it had a little police shield badge on it, said cop cuts, and it was for police and fire and military and first responders and vets and things like that. Um, but it was not a discount. And I think that's, you know, we're not splitting hairs here, literally or figuratively, but I think it's important when it comes to talking about how we negotiate that business. So promo calendar, it's the idea. Go through the calendar now. Go through the calendar now and find one thing every month that you're going to use as your promotional piece for that month. Maybe Valentine's Day is a couples special. Maybe instead of couples, because you're a barber shop and you only do guys, maybe for Valentine's Day, it's dad and kid. You know, uh, uh, if you're a regular hair salon and you've got a broader audience, uh, then maybe it's it's daddy-daughter night. Uh, lots of things you can do. Uh, for March, St. Patrick's Day, uh, there's things you can do there. There's every month of the year has a holiday, an event, an opportunity, and a special. But plot your promotional calendar. Build your promotions in now so that through the year you can just execute. Nothing sneaks up on you by surprise. And by the way, when we're talking about the promotional calendar, I want to add number two on here is I on July. I on July. Many of you know, I've talked for a long time about it, July 1, raise your haircut prices day in the USA. July 1 is that target date where haircuts go up. You earn a price increase. You deserve a price increase. It's time to add to the price. I on July. It is not too early to be thinking, how much is that price increase going to be? And most importantly, what are you going to do 
to justify it. And number two on this list, or number three rather, when we talk about I on July is add value. What are you going to do between now, busy December, and July 1, raise your haircut prices day in the USA to justify that price increase? What are you going to do? How are you going to change your environment, your experience, your service delivery, what you do, so that when you raise your price, nobody objects because they feel what you're doing is a value. So again, playing with the numbers, if you're 20 bucks, July 1, you're going up 10%, you're gonna be 22. What are you doing so that 22 doesn't look, smell, or feel like a price increase? 22 feels like, hey, you're not even yet charging what you're worth, and 22 is a bargain. I was happy to pay 20. I'm thrilled to pay 22 because what I get feels like 25, 28, or 34. That's the real challenge for you. Uh, what's the cap for I? What's the cap for I on July? Uh, Tasha, explain to me what you mean. I'm not understanding that like how high question. Do you raise the price? The, if, you're, if you mean by that, how high do you raise the price? I on July 1, adding value, the rule is 10%. You go up 10%. That's my standard formula. And by the way, if you want a lot of detailed information, I have my Raise Your Prices program. It is available as a text document. It's available as an audio book, uh, soon to be available in a video series as well. But I do have it in a couple of formulas, a couple of resources. Go to my website, ivanzoot.com. Uh, the program is available there. Or go to the website also and use the Talk to Me button. There's a button on my website that says Talk to Me. Click on it. You talk to me. You're going to be sending me an email. I'll chat back directly with you. Happy to help you if you've got some questions about that stuff. Jared, I think she's asking forever. I don't, what does that mean? Jared, I on July. Price should be going up every year in July. Every year in July, if that's what you mean. It's not a one-time deal. Hey, do you get a July every year? Of course we do. Just like Christmas in December, we get July. July, the price goes up. Jared, will you outprice yourself? God bless. I hope you do. Jared, that's a beautiful question, and I thank you very much for asking. And I want to make sure you understand how this works. In theory... If you raise your prices 10%, in theory, if you are lucky, if you are blessed, if the clouds part and the beam of light shines down, ah, if the angels sing, and if God smiles down upon you from heaven above, in theory, if you raise your prices 10%, 10% of your customers will quit you. That's right. In theory. 10% of your customers will quit you. Now, good news, bad news. The bad news is, it's not going to happen. They're not going to quit you. You're going to raise your prices 10%. You are good and people like you and they've been coming to you and they've been happy. And you raise your prices 10%. They're not going to quit you. You're going to be disappointed. You were hoping that people quit you. In a perfect scenario, 10% of your customers would quit you at a 10% price increase. And what happens then is you've got air in your book and you've got room for referrals from your top 90%. Birds of a feather flock together. Top 90% customers have top 90% friends. Quitters have friends who would have been quitters and you don't want them. And the theory is, if you raise your prices 10%, you're making the same amount of money with air in your book because 10% of your customers quit you. You double down on what got you to the dance. You take good care of people like you always have. You do what you've been doing to be good. And you solicit referrals. Um, referrals from that top 90% of your customers and you just keep building your business that way. You'll never price yourself out of business and that's where we get to three. We get to adding value, which is so important. I'm not telling you just to jack the price for the sake of jacking the price. I'm telling you that you earn a price increase by taking good care of people, by building business, by finding ways to add value 
And then you not only have earned it, but you deserve it, you're entitled to it, and you'll receive no resistance when you raise your price. And you know that's just the beauty and that's just the magic of how this works with regards to price increases in our business. And that's why I'm so passionate about this subject and I'm so glad that we can have some of this conversation here. You've got to be adding that value. Um, you've got to be making that worthwhile uh, experience for those customers. You know, I had a conversation the other day and it relates to this about the fact that I was talking to beauty school and barber school students about the fact that today the average and the standard is very high. For all practical purposes, everyone can cut hair. And everyone can cut hair at an acceptable level or at a passable level. Yes, there are some hair cutters that are better than others. Yes, there are some hair cutters that are not as good. Uh, you will be perceived as more of a professional. Couldn't agree more, Tim. Absolutely. And should you give no should you give notice of price increase? Lydia, no. No, 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 no. No price increase notice. This is, a, this is like a pet peeve of mine. We do this. We put that little piece of paper on the mirror. It says, dear clients, as of July 1, my price is going to be going up. And then we start making excuses. The rent went up, the lights go up, the heat goes up. It's been two years since I had a price increase. We start whining and we start begging and we start justifying and we start explaining. And you know what else we do? It kills me. We apologize. Do not apologize. I'm sorry, my price. You're not sorry your price is going up. You're excited that your price is going up. You're happy that your price is going up. You deserve a new price. We need a 180 degree shift on the mindset. And the answer is go to a sporting goods store, go get a t shirt with a big Nike swoosh on the front. Just do it. You know, when does the milk go up at the grocery store? Do you know the answer to that question? When did they raise the price of the milk at the grocery stores? Anybody know? You ever seen it? You haven't seen it. You know why you don't see it? Do you know when they raise the price of the milk at the grocery store? They do it at 2.30 in the morning when you're home sleeping. Yeah, that the guy on the night stock crew, he goes up to the dairy case and he pops off that little price ticket and he puts a new little price ticket up there and he changes the price of the milk when you're asleep. What about the gas station? When do they change the price of gasoline? Now, lately, gasoline's been going down, so it's not really relevant to this conversation, but I talk about this all the time. You know, you can be at the gas station, you got the pump in the car, and you're filling the tank, and the guy's out on the corner with the big stick changing the numbers, lowering the price of the gas. They don't even have the decency to wait till 2.30 in the morning when you fall asleep. They're raising the price of the gasoline in the middle of your tank full. You don't even know what you're paying. They don't care. Why do we do this? We don't. That's the answer. We just raise our prices. You don't, no notice, no permission, no asking, no telling, no apologizing, no excuses. Nike, just do it. Raise the price. You deserve it. You're good and people like you. And especially if you're tuned into this program tonight, if you rely on Jatai Academy for education and information, you're going the extra mile and making the effort to improve yourself, your skills, your knowledge, and your business. Do you deserve a price increase? You deserve a price increase just for watching this video. But find ways to add value with an eye on July. That's when we want to go up. Start with your promotional calendar to build a powerful year of promotions. Have an eye on July for a price increase. Find ways throughout the year to add value. Let me look at my agenda and see what else I had for you here. That's what I got for kicking off July. Now, throughout the year, we're going to talk a lot. I will be back here live on Facebook with Jatai on many more occasions, whether we're sharing technical or whether we're sharing business information like this. You know my website, lots of other places to find me. Remember, the special on the book is running now through Christmas. Half price, $25 down to $12.50. Be a $100,000 hair cutter. Yeah, I got plenty of inventory, and I'm happy to have you have that book and have that deal. Jatai.net on the web is where you go to sign up for our emails to sign up for our academy. Go to jatai.net for our specials for the month of November and December for our holiday specials and things. We've got blades on sale. We've got handles on sale. Uh, we've got great things for you there. Does anybody have any final questions or comments? I got one here. 
Uh, what are your thoughts on Black Friday sale? Did I discount products? Still not as successful as I thought. Um, and, and they just posted the link for Jatai for Feather uh, in the comments here. Vanessa just posted the link, J-A-T-A-I dot net. That's what I said it was, so I'm glad I got it right. That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Um, you know, I think it, Black Friday is something that's originally been thought of as the big box retailers, but I think we can get our piece of it. I think we need to stretch it, though, in answer to uh, Tasha's question. I think we can start talking about Black Friday early. I think you probably noticed the Black Friday ads were on TV and radio early in the week, Monday, Tuesday. Sunday, even, beforehand. So I think it's not just what we sell on Friday. If you looked at my website, my Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Small Business Saturday deals all started Thursday, and they ran Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I'm extending a few of them. Not all of them. I've killed a few of them, but I am extending, as an example, the book all the way through Christmas because it was the big hit for my Black Friday promotion. Um, and it's something that I think is impactful for everybody, so that's why I'm doing it. But in answer to your question, though, I think there is um, a lot of good opportunity to use and leverage through that promotional calendar uh, all of these kind of things. So, as always, uh, we're wrapping up here. We're coming close to 50 minutes. Um, I always end the way I start, which is by saying thank you. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to present here. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to have a little bit of your time to come into your phone, into your house, into your living room, into your computer, uh, to share some of these great things. Thank you to all of our friends at Chitai for providing me, you, and us this platform for not only me to share, but for us to exchange in this way. And in the spirit of the holidays, in the spirit of giving, Tuesday and all that good stuff. Uh, I wish you a very safe, a very warm, a very happy, a very healthy holiday season. We normally do these towards the end of the month, which is going to put the next one of these a little close to Christmas. So I think Jatai and I will probably find a way to do next month a little early. Uh, if there's something you'd like to see or hear from me in terms of content, uh, use the comments here. Uh, Jared, you're welcome. Tasha, thank you. Tim, thank you. Uh, but if there's something you'd like specifically in content for a program, whether it's presented by me or any one of the other educators that Jatai likes to feature, uh, we're always open to and happy to have that feedback. I know the folks at the office at Jatai are always listening, always paying attention to your comments, and are very interested in continuing to support you and the great business that you do every day. So, uh, on behalf of Jatai and myself, uh, and my family and everybody else to your family. Have a warm, wonderful, and happy holiday season. We'll see you again here, uh, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web and here at uh, our program. See you here. See me there. Clipperguy.com as well. Have a great day. Bye-bye.